mail, um, all the way from Canada. It's actually from Collectivision Games, um, but it's not a purchase, it's actually a trade. A little while ago I sent Toby from um, Collectivision some Australian Xbox games that he was after to complete his uh, Xbox collection. I mean, he has a full set, but he's after the variants. So one of them was a, um, uh, a hockey game that came with a special collector's edition watch. Um, and I think there was a football one in it, I'm just trying to remember, there was a rugby one in there. Um, so as a trade, he sent me some of the, um, or, or two of the uh, collector vision titles that I hadn't had a chance to uh, purchase myself. Um, there were two that I was particularly after. There are some more that I'm missing from collector vision that I haven't had a chance to get. Only so much money and time to go around. Um, now this first one has actually been ported across from the MSX as a lot of these are. Um, I have the MSX2 version and it's worth a lot of money but I haven't ever found a copy of this uh, which is um, for MSX1 and it is Xanak which is an excellent game on the NES which I have a copy of as well and but this is the MSX1 version so obviously a little bit more graphically limited than the MSX2 version could be which is called Xanak EX to clarify, um, but it still plays really well. They've done a really good job on the box. So this conversion was done by Opcode Games. Yeah. And um, Eduardo basically. Right, we have a black cartridge. That's pretty cool. And I'm not going to fish the menu out because I don't want to damage the menu. Now the other game is completely programmed from scratch and it's a port of an arcade game. Um, and I followed the development of this one um, on Atari Age um, but I've never had a chance to get a copy so I'm really, really pleased to get a copy of this one. Uh, oh by the way, for the Xanet game was requires the super game module. Um, needs that extra memory and obviously the MSX sound chip. This one has been programmed from scratch to support basic um, ordinary Coleco hardware, so it'll run on any system, and it is a uh, conversion of Bagman. Um, so they've got the arcade console front and a comic on the back, which is really cool. Uh, you're going to have to wait till screenshots till we have a go at the game, um, but it's a, it's, it's a platform type of game that's got quite unique gameplay and um, I believe the programmer I'm going to have to look it up what have we got here oh, it's only got oh here join uh, Jean-Michel Girard there we go sorry if I pronounced your name incorrectly <laughs> we did a really good job so here's the cartridge it's a little blurred on the label there, but it's alright. Um, and as I said, it comes with a manual and everything like that. I think I can get this one out without damaging anything. And there we go. Oh, actually, it's even got a colour back as well. A lot of thought and effort have gone into this one. Um, and as I said, definitely looking forward to giving it a play. Alright, so without further ado, let's go play these games. Right, here we go with Zanak. I never thought I'd. Um, Play this version, it's an extremely rare game on the MSX. This is the original Xanak produced for the MSX One. Um, and Opco Games have done a good job converting this. What have we got? Game mode normal, rest, auto fire normal, fast, faster. Well, since we're going to be crap at this, we'll try that. Okay. This with the Coleco controller is going to be interesting. Right, I know that selects the front shield thing, so we're pretty invisible from the front now. This is our first boss thing. Him in the eye when it's open. 
something like that. So you can pretty much just hold the button down, buttons down. So one of the three always contains the next another power up level. You don't have to shoot everything, but obviously it makes it easy. Right, so now we've got the directional thing that will shoot out, whoops, shoot out whichever way you're facing. And the good thing is, is if you get hit by a movable object, you'll just lose one level of your current power up. So this game really is the start of the um This is the rotating thing, I actually prefer the other thing. Um, the start of the less series in a way, so... Right, next boss. The good thing about the flying things, it'll get through the bullets as well. You still have to watch what you're doing. And so I have the MSX2 version of this. I can't remember what this one is. Oh, stupid snowball. Oops. Oops. Ah. Inside. Oh, one down. It's very easy to just quickly die on this one, shoot. Let's fall again. No, 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 what's this one? Oh, damn it. Not doing very well. As you can see, it gets hard. And even though it looked like I was off to a good start. Oh, stupid. I should have just grabbed that. Now I'm right down on power. gives you definitely gives you a good taste of the game um, then this will be quite a convenient way for me to play Zanuck I mean I suppose I could just load the ROM in the MSX but I don't have a copy yet so um, yeah so the uh, MSX2 version is called Zanuck EX and has smooth scrolling and a bit more color and things like that would love to get another copy of Zanuck for the MSX one day just to round out the collection but it's great having this version in the meantime I think you've done an excellent job um, converting this over to the Coleco. I mean, you obviously need the Super Game Module though to make it work. All right, let's try the next game. All right, so next we have Bagman. Um, I've never actually played the arcade game of this, so I'll be interested to see how I go. Uh, but I followed the development on projects um, along closely. Bags. Put them in the back. Yeah, put them in there. Okay, how do I get 
of the letters. Right. Whoa. <laughs> That's good, it's got a little bit of speech in there. to get used to this. Okay, well remember where that was. He's gonna come down here, right. Go away. Right. screen. Pop it down. And look out. Go down, go down. Ah. Oh. Um, so, as you can see, I'm terrible at it. Let's have another go. a bit more now. No. Sometimes those things can be hard to... It's got to be quiet sometimes, isn't it? This way. Bit of AI there that they do lock on to you. He thinks he's got my number. No, oh, that was lucky. Right, go to the next screen. Oh, 
What did I do? Um, excellent job, Alec. It's a very good game. Um, the arcade game looks like it would have been fun to play as well. Um, and um, yeah, excellent two games. Thank you, Toby, for sending them. I appreciate that a lot um, and hope you enjoyed your Xbox games. And um, yeah, saw a video recently uh, that John made of your game room and your Xbox collection, and it's amazing. Alright, I'm Electric Adventures, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.